this is CLS All in One, and today I'm going to show you an Android TV I just hooked up in my car. And to control the Android TV, I'm using an air mouse. It's got a keyboard on the back, and the front of it's got mouse controls plus play buttons. And all you got to do is point at the screen and click. So here's a look at the Android TV box. It's fairly small, a little bit bigger than a Roku, um, and I have it plugged to my screen via some composite cables. So it plugs right into my screen there. And then I have it powered by a USB port that's 2 amp. And that's wired to my ignition, so when I turn off the car, it turns off the Android TV there. And here's a closer look at the Android TV box itself. It's got an SD card slot on the side there, so you can load movies and music, whatever. Um, I got my USB plugins in the back there. It's got an HDMI output, but I'm using composite because my screen only has composite. And this setup's small enough to where it fits in my center console just fine. So this basically turns your car screen into a tablet. Uh, the only thing is it's not touch screen, you have to use the remote. Uh, it's got Google Play here, as you can see. You can install games or whatever app you're looking for. You can find it on Google Play there and install it. You can download music apps like Pandora. I personally use Pandora all the time. Uh, this is a really must-have app if you're going to have your Android TV in the car there. You can also download your favorite movie apps like Netflix. Then of course, you don't want to forget about YouTube, everyone's favorite app. That's also compatible on this device. I also have movies and music downloaded to my SD card, and I can play those back on an app called VLC. It's a very useful app that plays most formats of uh, movies and most formats of music. I have the movies and music just downloaded to the root of the SD card, and the VLC app automatically finds those so you can play them back. And if you don't have a memory card, you can also download movies and music to a USB flash drive. So another cool feature about this particular Android TV box is that it has the AirPlay. So if you have an iPad, an iPhone, or an iPod, you can mirror that screen to your car stereo screen here with this app. There's also an Android app for mirroring also called Miracast. So right here I'm going to mirror my Android device to my stereo screen here. And a real cool feature about the Android here is that since it's an Android TV box, I can use my Air Mouse remote to control my phone basically. So I can just point at any app on my screen on the car stereo here and that will open up an app on my phone. So the mirroring capabilities plus remote control capabilities make this a very cool app. Well this is CLS All in One, thanks for watching. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe.